hey guys welcome to the new year and to my channel so i'll be starting off by using a glue stick just to keep my eyebrows in place because for this look we want our eyebrows to be blocked out and then i'm using a spoolie brush to brush them in place as well and i'll use my finger to extra press them down next i'm applying my face primer from zikel cosmetics the skin fit collection and i'm using my stick foundation from zikel cosmetics as well just to block the brows and i feel like a stick foundation works better for blocking eyebrows then i'm going to dab it with a sponge i will not over blend so that it doesn't take off the foundation now i'm going to apply the foundation to my face and i like mixing the stick foundation with liquid foundation because i love the look that it gives me so that's what i did here and i'm using a brush from colorbox cosmetics to blend that in next i'm applying a little bit of concealer just to brighten my face a little bit and after blending that out you can see that the difference wasn't so much it just gave me this nice subtle highlight next i'm just using a regular face powder this is from my powder palette it is two shades lighter than me because i'm not going anywhere so i just felt like mm, i shouldn't be using setting powder really and afterwards i applied my actual powder shade from the same palette and these are the paints i'll be using to draw my butterfly these are from p louise and mitchell collaboration from the acid rain collection now i'm using that sponge to keep my hand from dirty my face and then i made sure to steady my hand on my face because we are going to be doing some precise drawing and you do not want your hand to be shaky that was why i took that deep breath before i started drawing um the butterfly Next, I am using the same paint to fill in just a little bit and to kind of diffuse the edges before I apply the pink in the center. Um, I don't want them to have like these harsh lines between them. So I applied the pink and then I used the sponge to blend it since this one is a little bit more than the whitish looking paint. So when I was blending around the edges, I made sure to kind of stack them on top of each other so that they will have this nice blend in between them. Now this white stuff I'm applying is the whitest shade. Like usually in a powder palette, there's always this white shade that nobody really uses. That's what I used. And then I'll be using this pink eyeshadow to set the pink part. Even though this base is from P. Louis, no need to be set. I just wanted to set so that there will be this nice gradient effect between the pink and the white and this came out so so beautifully i went ahead to draw the other wing on the other eye and i applied the pink as well then this is me going in with a black gel liner to you know cover out my butterfly wings i'm sorry i didn't show most of the products here but you can use a black gel liner a liquid liner a liquid lipstick that is black and then here i am using that white paint to make the polka dots on the butterfly wings to make it look more realistic i actually stacked on some stones those are stones that are above the butterfly and then i'm using this very loose highlighter from super cosmetics i tried to do like an all over face glue but because my face was already set it didn't apply as i wanted so i went in with a brush to do it instead and i applied it to my nose and my cheekbones you guys know i love my highlighter and i really was living for this glue guys oof that's beautiful next i am applying the so pro matte liquid lipstick in the center of my lips i actually used a regular brown lip liner and now i am using their shimmery lip gloss in the shade zua to pop my lips and that gave it the most beautiful sheen and you guys know i would always add gloss to anything I think it came out beautifully the gloss the butterfly the highlighter everything came out so beautifully so i want you guys to comment below if there is anything you learned in this video whether it is how to block brows how to draw a butterfly and if you like the color just anything you liked guys please comment down below remember to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up before you leave and i'll see you in my next one bye